Hi everyone and welcome back to The Sims 4 Parenthood Let's Play on my channel. It's PhD Simmer here and today we have several birthdays. We've got the twins Kelly and Alison aging up and Cody is going to become a teenager so that's pretty exciting but it does feel like time has gone very very quickly um, but you know that's what happens. So let's see where we're at. I think I had off screen uh, Betsy makes some cakes so yeah she's done a pink and a blue cake for the fam and we put some candles on there so hopefully no one's going to steal the cake. I think it's probably only fair if we invite over Bridget and we invite over Sebastian so we're going to get um, Alison to invite over where even is she? Is Bridget even on here? Ooh, <laughs> that shows a lot about the relationship between her and her kids. So let's try another one. It's Bridget here. Yeah. Bridget's not even on here. Maybe Betsy could phone her. Seriously, where's Bridget? Hmm. Okay, let's try through the relationship panel. Okay, so Brit's. Uh, well, no, we can't invite her to come over through this. You know what? That's just going to have to do. Um, let's see if we can invite over Cody's dad. Yeah, we can invite over Sebastian. So that's going to have to do. I wonder if hmm, maybe John can invite over his ex-wife, but she probably hates him so much that she won't. Well, no, she doesn't. she's not even here. Okay, well, there we go. So we're going to invite over... Um, Cody's dad, see if he'll come over. I think she's just browsing the Sims forums, but there you go. But yeah, he's going to become a little teen. I'm excited to see that. Okay, I think while we're waiting for Cody's dad to come over, we might as well come and age up the girls. So um, let's have Alison blow out the candles. And we have Kelly blow out the blue candles. And we're looking forward to giving them a little makeover. I think I might put Kelly's hair maybe back to natural the same as Alison's natural blonde I don't know maybe we could go for blonde with like a colored tips or something I was thinking about one of my favorite toys and I can't seem to find it I'm starting to miss it and feel sad so keep looking for it play with a different toy it's okay to be sad we'll go with it's okay to be sad oh I love the fact that nobody has come to celebrate <laughs> their games John get over here quick I think it's gonna be too late Oh, well, Betsy was half halfway here. Oh, God, are they going to go automatically? I think I'm only going to get <laughs> one picture, which is sad. So Kelly has edged up young adulthood, lifelong responsibilities, burgee, I can never say this word, careers and vast horizons await. Whoever said their 20s aren't a blast? She got the responsible trait from having positive responsibility. So what does that actually... I kind of wanted to see what that said, but I can read it, I guess, in the panel. So she currently is, this is Kelly, outgoing and hot-headed. I kind of, hmm, what do we want her to be? Music lover? Because she does play the guitar would be good. Um, I think I might make her a music lover. And then we have Alison. Kelly has been removed from the Alternatives Club. <laughs> Bridget has sent Kelly a gift. Oh, okay. So she couldn't come to the party, but she sent her a gift. So yeah, responsible trait. Responsible Sims perform better at their jobs and can teach children and teens how to be responsible. That's pretty cool. So she's currently unflirty and she's a bookworm. <laughs> Bless her. Um, I think cheerful would be quite cute for her. What else have we got? Um, I think I might make her cheerful. Or we could make her family orientated. No, I think I'm going to make her cheerful. So they don't look any different since they've just aged up, but I will give them a little makeover. And Bridget has sent Alison and Kelly a gift. So where would that be in the family panel? Probably. Um, And then I think, let's see if Sebastian's on his way over. Ah, oh, he's at the door. So Cody... Come and um, give your dad a little hug. There we go. 
<laughs> oh, that's cute that they're celebrating. Is he singing? <laughs> oh, bless him. That's really cute. So um, let's get Alison to relight the candles. So let's add birthday candles to this. Unless someone's going to steal some. I can't wait to see Cody as a teen. Okay, so let's see. Uh, Cody's going to get his... Um, give, give his dad a little hug and then he's going to blow out the candles. Oh, that's pretty cute actually. So come and blow out the candles, Cody. I love the way Kelly's just like, yeah, my my party's over, I'm off. Bye. <laughs> Don't care about anyone else. Um, actually, let's get Alison to grab a bit of cake. So let's uh, take a piece of cake. Everyone's gonna grab some cake. John, you better get some cake too. Where's Cody? He's going to do his birthday too. Let's try and get a screenshot of him blowing out his candles. Oh, that's cute. Oh, everybody's eating some cake. What are the girls doing? I think they were just chatting, but we're going to get her to come and grab some cake too. Oh, Cody's going to age up. Oh, we have to pick an aspiration for him. So he's currently active and I think we're going to make him... Hmm. Maybe he could be a bit of a bro. And I think I kind of want him to do the athletic career. I feel like he would be quite athletic. Oh, wow. Cody, what is this outfit about? Well, he seems very pleased with it. <laughs> Let's grab some of this. We let everyone have a bit of cake. Sebastian just totally missed the party and he's on the computer. But at least he showed up. Oh, this is cute. It's like, happy birthday. Okie dokie, I got it. So I think we're going to go into create a sim. Um, but my gosh, the whole family sat at the table. This is, this is rare. <laughs>
guys so i've just done the cast and if i've remembered i've put it in the video and sped it up i hope you liked it let me know what you think about kelly's hair i decided to go for her natural blonde color now that she's a young adult but if you want me to go ahead and put some more color into it or dye it or whatever go back to the dark color then i will do that but i thought it would be nice to see her with her natural hair color now she's a young adult and we'll just see how we get on with it i mean it, i think it really suits her and um i was a bit kind of thinking when i was during the cast i was like mm. Does the blonde hair work with her like dark makeup and her dark clothes? But I kind of think it makes her stand out from the crowd. I think she looks pretty cool. And it's nice to see the twins looking more like twins, I guess. Um, but yeah, I'm happy to take your opinion. If um, Cody's hair has changed since the cast, it's because I, when I loaded up the lot after being in cast, he was bald for some reason. And when I went back into cast, he would the hair was fine, but it's bald in the game. I have no idea how that works because clearly it's not a mesh issue. I don't know. Well, maybe it is. I don't know. But I just changed his hair to this one. I uh, hope you approve. Do let me know what you think of all the makeovers. And I have just finished making up um, Cody's so, room. Um, let's give him a bro hug. <laughs> These two are going to be like, like mates. They're not really going to have a proper father-son relationship, I don't think. But there we go. Um, let's ask about his job and we're gonna make funny faces oh i love that and i think basically the reason why he's so into sports is because his dad is very athletic and i think he he's inherited a little bit of that from him but also he wants to impress him and he wants to have stuff in common with his dad because they haven't had the greatest relationship so i love that they're so cute um, so I think he's kind of got into sports through his father, really. Ooh, what's the light? Oh, is he <laughs> um, I love the way Sebastian just laughed at that. So we have learned that he is a water, but he's on the sports, he's in the sports career, which is exactly what Cody's gonna be striving for at the moment, anyway. It might change in the future, but we're gonna, what should, we, what should we do? Let's complain about everything. And I did give Cody some acne, well, not acne, it's not too bad um i gave him some spots because i did want to use them because they came with the parenthood pack so i thought that was quite funny right we're confused about our interests and we will express our admiration for our dad and what's every why is everyone else in the red so daisy why why are you so scared about the monster of the bed and betsy i actually want to check if she's pregnant because i now have the mc commander mod updated and installed so, oh, she is pregnant. Oh my gosh, she's pregnant with a f one female baby. Oh, and she's in the first trimester. <gasps> she is pregnant, but we haven't realized it yet, which is, she's going to freak. She's going to be so excited about that. John, on the other hand, is going to be, I think, well, I think he, he does want another kid, but he's probably going to be a bit like, oh crap, we got to do this all over again. <laughs> Well, that's good of her to like mop up though. Let's get Betsy to come and oh, we can't do anything now because she is a grown up, so we can't come and um, we can't uh, come and uh, parent her like that. But we can <laughs> bring up embarrassing childhood moments. Let's ask about her future plans. Like, you, you know, what are you gonna do for a job? Discuss her uncomfortable mood. What have I actually got them jobs yet? Oh, we haven't got them jobs. Ooh we need to get them jobs but i don't know what to give them i have installed a new mod which might be cool to try but i don't know if it actually works at the moment so let's just have a look see if it pops up but yeah we have to get the girls jobs this is exciting i kind of think i want to give possibly give cody a teen job as well um we got lots of money but i feel like it'd be quite good for this lp to have teen jobs so detective doctor scientist astronaut athlete business criminal critic culinary ah there we go fashion mod i kind of want her to do that i think that would be cool fashion makes the world go round without it we are dull drab and lifeless are you one of the pretty people do you have a flair for fabrics on eye for editorials are you the next tyra banks versace or the next anna winter put your talent and beauty to the ultimate test and join the fashion career career branches include model design fashion journalist we're gonna give that to her 
And I don't know about Kelly. I feel like Kelly maybe... Mm, oh, she could be... Why are there two social medias here? That's strange. But... Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What do we think for Kelly? Mm, it's quite tough, actually. I don't see her as... She could take off after her father and be in the detective career, but I don't really want to do an active career in this LP. Um, astronaut, I don't see her as an astronaut. Athlete, we're going to give to Cody. Don't really see her business criminal critic. She could do that. Culinary, no. Entertainer, no. Painter, no. Politician, secret agent. This is really, really tough. I kind of am swaying towards critic. I'm going to give her the critic career. I feel like she has got a lot of opinions to share. So Alison is now a brand representative at the Magnolia Fashion Institute. She starts Saturday at 9am. Kelly is now a beat reporter at Sam Maishuno Times. She starts Saturday at 10am. Awesome. So they've got jobs, which is cool. So Kelly needs to get the writing skill and she needs to write a column. So she's got quite a lot to do, but let's, uh, let's go get her to... Go ahead and sort her needs out and then she can go down to her room and do some writing. So I guess we will write a column and then we will uh, practice some writing. Um, and Alison, her, her fun's pretty low so let's go ahead and go play some computer games. And how's Cody doing? Cody's doing pretty well. Where are they going? He's going to go dance? No, don't do that. <laughs> Why don't you play foosball with your father? Oh my god, these two are just like two peas in a pod. I feel like this is a dangerous, a dangerous situation we've got going on here. But let's go and uh, play a bit of foosball with our daddy. John, I think, is feeling a little bit phased out. Kind of like, oh, when Cody was a little kid. Wow, what's happened to these lights? They're so tiny. It's auto light everywhere. Um, I think John is starting to feel a little bit like, oh, me and Cody were like best buds, and now he's hanging out with his dad a little bit more. Feeling a little bit phased out. Um, Betsy, um, what should we get you to do? You're gonna be a mama. How is she doing in the parenting school? Because I do want to max that. Gosh, she's gonna be an adult soon too. She needs to have a child with character value within range to receive a trait. Did we not get one with Alison and Kelly? Or did that not count because they were not her kids? Did, I'm sure they got a character trait. Yeah, they got response bill. Okay, well, I guess it has to be one of our own kids. So um, let's go and browse the parenting forums, I think. Um, actually, she is writing some kids books so we can get her to carry on writing those <laughs> she's so cute what does she have to actually do for work she needs to get another two logic skills and she needs to research fashion which she hasn't started but we will let her get her fun levels up a little bit more maybe she could play chess with John to do that play with John Willis. There we go. Oh, how did you do that, John? You just broke the sink. But yeah, I can't believe it. She is pregnant. She's going to have to tell John. But maybe she get her to come and take a pregnancy test because she must be starting to suspect right now. Take a pregnancy test. Oh, gosh. Guys, start leaving your baby name suggestions down below. We're having a little girl. Oh, she's starting to think about it. She's like, am I hungry? What are these twinges? Could I possibly be pregnant? Right, stop writing your book. And then I guess we should probably get her to go to sleep. Oh, she's about to get another writing skill, so let's let her finish that. Oh, these two are cute. Yeah, 
Yeah, we are eating for two. Look how happy she is. Oh, let's not make it look that obvious that she's on the toilet. <laughs> but yeah, she's eating for two. I think she's probably not going to tell John right this second, but she's probably going to uh, take him out for a little date and announce the news. Let's get some leftovers. Don't go tell John. No, we will tell him the big news soon. How's Kelly getting on? Oh, she's doing well. She's going to get her writing skill. Oh, we're going to have to stand to her to bed because she's tired. So let's go and have a little sleep. John can go to bed. Oh, it's nice that they can bond over her working on her logic skill. And I'm going to send everyone off to bed, I think. How's Kelly doing? Kelly's actually not too bad. How's Cody doing? Cody's pretty good. Oh, he's going to say goodbye to his dad now. Bye, dad. Let's say goodbye. Um, let's give him a loving hug. That's quite cute. These two are getting on really well now. Obsessed about favourite band. Oh, it's nice in a way. But I feel like he's not... He's not exactly a father. Say goodbye to him. Reach level two. Awesome. So she's done that. Um, I'm going to get her to probably, even though she's not that tired, just have a, an early night. want Betsy to come and praise him for doing the dishes. We need to work on this parenting. Encourage doing the dishes. And yeah, that will do. Oh, look, she's actually got the belly. Oh, she's feeling really sick. She's like, oh, gosh, I don't regret these. Um, I don't. Re <laughs> what am I trying to say? I forgot about this morning sickness, she's probably thinking. Ah, uh, can we not? Oh, we can't do it anymore? Damn. Oh, he's giving her a little hug, that's cute. I want to take a picture with these two together. Um... Take photo with. Cody, oh, they've got a really great relationship. That's really nice to see. Let's take a picture with our grown-up son. Proud mama. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. I love it. Okay. Oh, can we gift it? Oh, I wanted to be able to put the earbuds in his inventory because he's going to be at the gym a lot. But there we go. We'll put that picture on the wall. Nice job. Okay. I think since everyone's going to bed, I'm going to go ahead and end this apart here. Turn this music off since she's going to bed. What's up with him? Embarrassed. Oh, backing down and giving up. Well, that's one way to avoid losing. Still, it doesn't feel good to quit a challenge. Oh, bless him. He didn't really quit. I think Sebastian's stuck at our house. He won't leave. <laughs> Bless him. You've been embarrassed. Sebastian, you need to leave our house now. Goodbye. Nope. He won't leave. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Do let me know what you think of the makeovers and what you think of Cody's room. And yeah, any comments or suggestions you have on any little details like Callie's hair or the jobs I've chosen for them, do let me know in the comments because I take all those suggestions on board. And um, yeah, start getting baby name suggestions down below. We're having a little girl and she has just, uh, she's gone into her second trimester. Yeah, so in the next part, we'll probably have Betsy tell the family that she is expecting and we'll probably have to think about where we're going to put the nursery. A couple of you have suggested that we get the girls to share a room and which would be great. Yes, I agree for the drama. But on the other hand, they're both young adults now, so I don't think it's that appropriate. We could move the girls out, but I kind of don't want to at this early stage. 
Um, I'm thinking about extending the house and putting a kid's room upstairs, or we could have uh, moved some of these toys out and and share. Um, we could have Daisy and her new baby sister share, which could be quite problematic since it's quite a small room. Um, so yeah, we could have like the baby crib in John and Betsy's room until it's a toddler and then have um, the toddler and Daisy share a room because Daisy is a kid for a little bit longer. She's got another four days so that could be quite fun for them to share a room but I don't know drop here your comments and suggestions down below. We've got loads of money so we could always extend and all that good stuff. Um, yeah and I will see you in the next part. Bye guys.